is my version of a garage lift uh, made out of an electric hydraulic forklift that you actually walk behind. Uh, it's the pen that controls it. Pen goes up the ceiling, down behind this wall. When I was figuring out the controls, I actually realized there's only three wires on the up and down switch. So I piggybacked off those wires. I actually just cut off an extension cord because it's three wires when I was adding this. I'm using a childproof plug because it's what I had, but you can get special plugs like twist plugs and stuff so that you do never want this in a 110. This system's 24 volt and you'll be crying if you do that. And the charger's just plugged in next to it. Um, so it goes up and down to make sure you stab that hole like accurately every time. You have to anchor it. So this is like hot rod suspension, like tie rods, these are hind joints. Uh, there's no movement like uh, you're going around 8,500, 200 miles an hour. So these are just quick disconnect pins. Pull these out, one on this side, so there's actually three holding this. Then you can go down, up or down, and it nails that hole every time. Another feature is when the forklift goes up, as you extend the mat, these wheels get closer together, comes a little less stable, a little bit rocky higher up you go. So these rollers capture it, and it's pretty stable once you get up the full extension. To come down, you just push the down button. And that's pretty much it. The cool thing is, because it just connects so quick, you can still go out there, pick up a motor, a milling machine, air compressor, unload it from the truck, bring it back in the garage. And then when you're here, you lift it up to your second floor, or engines you got stored. Anything heavy, you can put upstairs in your loft. The, um, platform basically what it is it's like a pallet so underneath I just got four pinch bolts when you back out you, uh, these bolts are loose it's like dropping a pallet on the ground pick up your load come back in scoop up the uh, cargo basket and Put your pins back in, and you got the elevator again. Um, just to make things a little simpler, uh, this is wired with four batteries originally. It's not running around a warehouse all day, so two batteries is enough to get your two 12 volt batteries is enough to get your 24 volts. No sense to spend that extra money maintaining them. I also don't use the 24 volt charger. I just use a battery tender and. Uh, when I think about it, I just swap batteries with the battery tender. Just move these terminals over to this side. Seems to work better than trying to keep track, make sure you're not overcharging. Battery tender just automatically maintains uh, the level and you don't have to play with this big old plug every time. This particular model, this got a, you twist this hand grip and it's powered forward and reverse. Oh, that operates. So that's it. That's my version.